back, everybody, to ET Canada Live. Drake and Deidre from Days of Our Lives are with us to chat all about, well, all your questions and moments. But first, here's Liam with what's trending. Two really good people, and of course, we wish them the best. Thanks so much, Liam. And now to a fictional couple on the road to Splitsville. Let's welcome back John Black and Dr. Marlena Evans. I can feel your anger from Days of Our Lives. Drake and Deidre in our ET Canada studio. What so the saying? last time, we don't what know Splitsville. What you just saying? Just, I have to get everybody caught up. To, so the last time we saw Drake in Salem was last summer, and then the two of you were on the outs, and now you're back. So what's in store for John and Marlena? She had the inside dish. On I don't know. It's starting to scare me here. Wait, well, we we uh, I think you're at the same time zone we are. We just. Uh, We've had some little bad time, and now she just doesn't uh, get it. She just doesn't, she doesn't get, get it. You. It was like trying to save my son. It's like so I had, you know, tried to sleep with another woman that I used to be married to, yeah. that used to change my son's diapers, and now she's having sex with him. And it's like she I didn't get that so I was just trying to have sex with her, just, just it, so. Yeah, I think in soap opera, just vernacular, I think we'll probably break up for a while and be angry, and then. Maybe not so much. <laughs> mm. Yeah, let's hope. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we have some Twitter questions for you guys because your fans are so excited that you're on our show, so we're really excited about that. This one is for Drake. Hmm. Linda Brett wants to know how you manage to stop the hands of time. You're truly ageless and you're gorgeous. Hi, and Linda. can I just this? You know, Linda. Yes. And, well... This is what Linda's talking about. So what's your secret? Let's well, you talk know, You know, I used to play Let's professional talk. baseball, and yes. I've always stayed active. And the thing is, just keep moving, keep exploring, yeah. just be curious all the time. And, and you know, we're lucky to live in Southern California where you have outdoors and you can do that. And, of course, I'm the gym rat, too, but, but now the older you get, it's just be out in the elements and, and just but have a your night cream? <laughs> What's your night cream? Oh, stop that. I, you know, I'm, I have daughters, so they're like, teach me more about that. But I've had pieces of my face carved off because I just go out and mow the grass, you know, <laughs> with like sun. And uh, but the, my daughters are, are teaching me to, uh, okay. to moisturize more. See? It's, okay. but it's sweet that you would pick that up because we're in town promoting that book, yeah. which is called Days of Our Lives, Better Living. Mm -hmm. And it's got all the actors, past and present, covering five different areas of questions about their health, exercise, their diet, their spirituality. And uh, we're in town promoting the book, so that's what we're well, doing. Well, this book is yeah, really doing. great because a lot of coffee table books either cover just fitness or just fashion or just cooking. And this is everything in it. And it's it's a really fun and well shot book. Oh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous pictures. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, a it, perfect gift. It's amazing. And since we have actors that are 18 to 80 on the show, it's their secrets, what works for them. And what you, the takeaway is that you'll find something that works for you. It's like, you know, it's not one size fits all. And when you get into it, all of a sudden, it might jiggle you a little bit to try something different. That's Why'd you say jiggle? About. I just had a baby not too long ago. What's that supposed to what? What is that? What is God, that? I got your trouble. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The lovely thing about being here is that you're, tomorrow you're heading off for Edmonton. Edmund, and I'm oh, heading nice. for Vancouver. We're going to be appearing at, where are we? Chapters. Chapters for book signing. We were at Chapters last night, just rocked the place. How amazing was it? Amazing turnout. Yeah. It's just good. Amazing. Oh, we love you, Canadians. Uh, goosebumps. Oh, so, um, good. so good. Very passionate about the show. <laughs> yes, so sure. if, if, the, if our fans can get there and come get their book signed tomorrow night, mm -hmm. um, if not, the book is available on Amazon.com. Perfect. Love we have, have one more question? Do we, have time? we don't have time for that. Okay. So, you guys work together for a very long time, uh, but we want to see how well you really know each other. Uh, Are you ready to play our version of the newlywed game? <laughs> Why sure. Look, don't look. It's Are good. Sure? It's good. Yeah, yeah. You can do this. That. Are we going through a divorce on this show right now? Is that what's happening? I don't really have to know. <laughs> Just think right. harmony. Uh, let's play. All right, let's get started. The first question, Deidre. What injury took Drake out of professional baseball? You know, um, um, I, I, I made this up, but I think it was either you got hit in the head with a baseball or it was your rotator cuff. And Neither one? All of the above. Oh. I, I was hit in the head with a baseball. I lost four octaves of a hearing. The house ear clinic says, well, the bad good news, news is you, you lost four octaves of hearing, but the good, good news, news is, is women speak in those four octaves. Oh, the reason my good. rotator cuff was blown up because my foot, my big toe, remember? You gave me oh, the cake. Oh, the toe surgery. I forgot <laughs> about gave, the toe she made surgery. Me a cake, she made me a cake Jeez. on a set with a big foot and a Oof. toe when I was Oof. having a joint replacement on my toe because of baseball. Okay, let's see if you do any Okay, okay. Oh, my. You guys these are these answers? Right? See, I figured you'd know that one because of the case. You did, All right, you're Drake, so does Deidre have any hobbies that fans may not know about? I, th I, I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Are you ready? Yeah. Knitting. Uh, 
You're right. Hey. Hey, there you go. Good for you. Good for you. I knit baby sweaters for my at some point to be grandchildren. Oh, that's And because I figured, you know, if the wind blows right, I'll see them before I die. So I was right, right? <laughs> you are right. Yes. Okay. Question several hobbies, two. Yeah. Deidre recently went back to college. What is she studying? You better know this. Really, seriously. Yeah, I do. It, okay, it was uh, 50 new sexual positions John Black does not know about. <laughs> that was last no, semester. <laughs> this semester. Okay, I'm, I'm going to make a wild stab in the dark guess. Are you supposed to answer first? No, you're supposed to answer. No, you show, you show, you show. Oh, you are good. Oh! There you go. Okay, one last one now, Deidre. Why was Drake almost not cast as John Black? Why? Why? It's the best question. And, and I was part of this struggle when it happened because shortly before we were auditioning for the character of uh, John Black, uh, uh, Ricky Nelson died. Oh. And Drake at that point looked so much like him. That they, like the only concern Nelson. with putting him on a contract was, wait a minute, you look so much like Ricky Nelson. And what did you, what did you say? Uh, the casting agent, Dor Saba, called me and she said, NBC's having a hard time because you look like Ricky Nelson. What? I said, and they want to bring you back in, they want to tape you over again. But I told him, you're doing a show for me up in San Francisco called Crazy Like a Fox. He's unavailable. Rewind the tape. He's perfect. Pick him. <laughs> really? And that's exactly what she said, and it happened. She is very oh, good. Amazing. All right, can you sign as I say I throw to break? Can you sign us as I throw to break? Can you try with me? All right. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us. We really, so really much. appreciate it. Uh, of course, we can't wait to see what happens next on Days of Our Lives. Yeah. Uh, which you can say every weekday on Global. All coming up right now. We say goodbye to one of our finalists in our ET Canada guest co-host audition, Cassie, Mujda, or Anthony. <laughs> Sorry. Who's going home? We'll find out after the break. Who's going home? <laughs>